Um, well, it's just a, it's, you just kind of like you gotta just sit there and wait all day. It started at twelve, um, so you just wait and just wait for that call. And once that call, two two teams called before that. I'm just saying, um, you know, they're interested, but they're not sure what's gonna happen. Um, but then uh, I got the call from uh, Oakland, and then I seen that they, their pick was up, and so you know, I mean, that's when my heart just kind of I'm like, uh oh, and then so. Uh, you know, he said, uh, we have your ticket here and we're going to turn it in and you're going to be a Raider. And so when he said that, you know, he was like, you want to be a Raider? And I said, of course. And then, you know, he put me on the phone with a couple other uh, other coaches and then got back on the phone. He's like, I'm going to put the ticket in. And then that's when I say, I seen the pick is in and then my name popped up. So it was crazy. I'd like to see your name on the screen. It just, I, I couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? Just a uh, great feeling. Something you always dreamed about. Did you uh, have contact with them beforehand at all? Yeah, um, I took five visits to uh, NFL teams mm -hmm. after my pro day. Uh, they were one of them. So, um, and you know, since since my pro day and since the visit, uh, you know, I talked to a few on staff, uh, just you know, wishing me luck and uh, you know, hopefully it goes in their favor that uh, you know they'll be hearing from me again. What they like about you? Um, I think they just, you know, they like my, si my size and my speed. Um, you know, they got a similar big back and Darren McFadden up there right now. So, um, you know, I'm just excited to learn from him and uh, just, you know, get in there and, and do what I can. That's what I was going to ask you about. I mean, Darren McFadden, you guys are, are kind of similar. I mean, yeah. both big backs. Do you think they kind of like that? Maybe want to groom you kind of, you know, in his wake there? I think, uh, I think most definitely. I think they definitely have a plan for me. You know, I'm excited to see how it all unfolds. Um, you know, the fact that, you know, I was the only running back they did pick in the draft and uh, I think I got a good situation, you know, going out there. So I'm just excited to see how it unfolds. What kind of, did they say anything else to you on the phone yesterday after telling you they were drafting you? What kind of uh, did they say then? No, just kind of like, because they know it's, and, you know, they still had picks coming up. So, you know, they just talked to me real fast and congratulating me and saying, uh, you know, they're excited about, uh, you know, the months to come. and that they'll be talking to me soon. So uh, it's going to be a busy, uh, you know, next few months. Who were you, you watching it with your family? So yeah, I just sat at home, um, just watched it in the living room. I didn't want anyone, uh, not a lot of people around. It was just me and my, my boy and my mom, and uh, we just hung out. So I didn't want the, uh, you know, that, that pressure, just everybody looking, right. like, where, when is it going to happen? Yeah. What, uh, what, would there, what was the rest of your friends' family reaction? Oh, you know what I mean? Just just crazy. As soon as, soon as my name popped up, just, my phone just started doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. and then my mom, she cried for like an hour straight, I think. So, um, but it was great. It's great. You know what I mean? Just put a smile on her face and just everybody being excited. Did you, uh, was it ever to go through your mind, if, you know, to go into the sixth round, getting late in the sixth round, you know, maybe I'm not going to get drafted? Um, well, yeah, I mean, most definitely uh, going into it. You know, just talking with my agent and me knowing, you know, from watching past drafts, you got to be prepared for anything. You know, some guys were probably projected, you know, higher than me that maybe went after me or didn't go at all. So you got to be prepared for, you know, whatever happens and, you know, just kind of take take it and run with it, whether you're drafted or whether you're not. Uh, you know, you got something to prove regardless when you get a chance. And coming from Onondaga, a place right here in central New York, you know, what? What it be? What's gonna be like? You know, either if you ever go back to the school or you see see your old coach at any time. And I don't think he's there anymore. But you know, just to see those those, those people again, those colors we have up. You know, yeah. what's it like to be from that school and going to the NFL? Um, I mean, it means a lot. I like the fact that I came from you know a small school like Onondaga. Um, you know, where you knew everybody in the school, everyone's name. But uh, compared to you know going to college, people went from big high schools and big football programs. So. Uh, it's just good to represent, um, you know, where I come from, and I never forget that. And I definitely make sure people know, you know, that I went to Onondaga. You mentioned Mike Hart earlier. You know, what what you you said you were four years younger than, and what yeah. you learned from him? I learned a lot. You know, um, just watching him when I was in high school, and um, knowing, you know, when I got the chance that I could, you know, one day be the starting running back at Onondaga, and, and watching him in Michigan, and knowing I would have my chance to play. Uh, you know, at the college level, and then him, him even playing in the NFL. So uh, he's been a, a big mentor for me. You know, I still talk to him, you know, almost every week. And, uh, you know, he's just a great guy to have around, a great guy to learn from. You've heard from him since you were drafted? Yeah, he texted me, you know, right after it happened. What did he say? Uh, 
he, he, he said, uh, 201 or no, 181. He said, I was 20 something. So he's just making fun of me. But uh, I definitely got him in that category. That's impressive. That's yeah. a cool thing to say. Yeah. He can hang that over his head for a while. I will. Right? I will. <laughs> uh, now going forward, what's the, you know, what do the next few months look like for you? Um, well, I think I go out to Oakland um, in like a week or so. Um, I'm guessing, you know, rookie and uh, off season training and um, of course, you take a you know a little bit of break off and then get get right into preseason and camp. So uh, I'm ready to play some football. You know all this training I've been doing and you know now hearing my name called and now it's just go, time to go out there and you know make it happen. You've seen probably those you know those specials. Hey rookie, welcome to the NFL. What do you expect from the transition to be like? Um, I'm, I mean I don't know what to expect to be honest with you. You know what I mean? But uh, I mean I'm prepared for anything. I know I gotta go in there and prove myself. So uh, I'm definitely going there with a chip on my shoulder still, uh, regardless, like I need a, you know, I'm going in there to a spot to earn. What's your goal in the NFL? Um, I just want to be successful. Um, you know, play, play the role, uh, whatever they need me to do. Uh, I just want to be that player and just, you know, get on the field. Would be like the whole Raider thing. And it's kind of, you know, those guys in the, with the spikes on their shoulders. I love it. There's nothing better than diehard fans. Um, so. Uh, you know, and I was told, you know, Raider fans are, are the greatest fans. So, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to see uh, and witness that.